All right, so I'm at a modded settlement. I've just built uh, a surrounding thing around my water tower. Not water tower, but you know, a water uh, purifier. Just checking out my defenses, checking out my uh, my shooting points. I like to do that. I like to have somewhere to shoot from whenever I'm being attacked. So I like to scope like, that out after I've done a little bit of a build. And uh, yeah, and then I decided to go off and kill some things. This is, I can't really see, I think this is, no, what is this place? Fair, is it Fairview Mansion or Fairview Villa or Fairview? I think it's out to do Fairview anyway. But I will do a tour of it eventually. So it's a modded set anyway. I basically built around the water purifier using the uh, combat zone uh, cage. And then I built around that and yeah, probably spend too much time looking through the defences here. But I wasn't, and I saw it Lampton in the distance and I thought, oh. I'm gonna go and investigate, and I know for a fact there's a lot of uh, super mutants around that way, and I like nothing more than going to uh, a well, a well-known combat area, but from a different position. I do enjoy doing that, because like, you're so used to walking around the map in the same kind of direction, following the same route, and it's cool to sort of go from a different, different way, and uh, especially with the jetpack as well. The jetpack, the jetpack rules. It makes you the king of the commonwealth, basically. You can go take the high road. Take the high road. And then kill things. There you go. He wasn't expecting this. Yes, yeah, so in my trusty shredder, I turn him into pieces of meat, basically. <laughs> I shred him. I shred his flesh with my exploding bullet gun. I can't remember what it's 556 is the bullets it takes, but I can't remember what it's called, these guns. But yeah, machine gun of some type or description. Yeah, so that's this one taken out. And now I know there's some down below. That I'm going to stay up high. Yeah, I have to try to jump through this window that I can't jump through. Then I thought I could do that. Uh, going to snap them from above. Death from above. This is death from above. I believe that's a song by Aprex. I look, we see that reloading in mid-flight. That's, that's a skill that is. That's a skill set that most people can't get. Now to rain down righteous vengeance upon the super mutant horde. Yeah. Oh yeah, death's coming for you. Oh yeah, death in pieces. Rest in pieces, shall I say. Ha ha ha. What an old joke. <laughs> oh, I seem to have taken out a, uh, a, a super mutant suicider. They have got to be the worst tactical decision that super mutants ever came up with. And they think that they're superior. <laughs> then you have one of your guys walking around with a bomb that you can shoot and blow him and everybody else who's not a suicider up with. Foolish boys. There you go. There goes another one. Just a shame he never had his friends nearby to take him take out at the same time. But never mind. I'm quite impressed with this uh, little shoot through as well because it's probably the quickest. One of the quickest. See, that's what I like to do. I like to when you first come to this area, you spend ages trying to kill everybody. So it's cool to come here and uh, take things out in like record time. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'll reload. Oh, if I didn't have to reload, I'll take them out a lot quicker. And I actually made to shoot for the little gap in the fr in the uh, window there. So that's another good shot. Then there's just one more one. I can hear him. I can hear him. I can I can tell by his level of volume of his beeping that he's not quite close enough yet. So if he does come close, I know to jump up in the air. I know to jetpack away, jetpack away, jetpack away, and here he comes. And there he is, and look, his left arm happens to be the easiest to hit. Oh, that's the right arm, actually, sorry. So he's blown up. It's all good. I've killed them all. Yay, go me.